Okay, it's been overcast all day, and so we're headed into the field to put the SIM card back in. The, the trail cam. So this is the, the next day, and I should have done this hours ago. But I had things to do that took time, so now is the only time I could do this, and I have to be very careful because this is about the time the the mountain lion, the cougar, comes out and feeds on the remaining part of the carcass. So I'm I have to do this pretty quickly. All right, so here we go. I'll see you guys up there. Okay, they're here. So, here we go. I'm just putting the SIM card in. So, this is one of those um, John Deere units they were selling, and they were selling it for a sale price, so I got it, tried it out, and so far it's been producing pretty good videos. So I'll discuss it later on. That's how it sets up, and then it gives you 20 seconds to leave the area before it starts shooting either photo or videos. You have to program it. And, um, and that's it. So here we go, closing the gate. Weatherproof, weather tight. Lining it back up again, and here we go. Luca? Okay. So, uh, it's right where the carcass is. And that's the remaining part of it. You, you saw the cougar take half of it. So um, he shouldn't be back today. He might be, but the head's behind it. So we got to be on a very, very tight lookout. And Luca will warn me. Uh, so this is what the carcass looks like. For those of you who are interested, there's still a lot of meat to be had on it. Um, but for the most part, here it is. Okay. Okay, you can see where the cougar tries to bury the meat. There's a lot of meat still left. what it looks like. Again, a lot of internal organs still attached. A lot of meat still on there. A lot of eating to be had. Spinal column still intact. This is how I quickly rigged it up the tree. I didn't it was nothing fancy, I just wanted to do a simple slip knot, and it worked. All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and get out of the vicinity. Luke is okay, but I just don't want any human smell on the carcass. We're going to still hunt the animal throughout the night, throughout the day, throughout the evening. And as long as I have sunlight, I'll continue the hunt. Until then, I don't have an infrared, fancy, you know, scopes that they have on the rifles these days. I just have a simple scope on mine. But it gets so dark here, and that's where the animal does most of its eating. 
is at dusk throughout the night and at dawn it leaves so but we have seen it eating during the course of the day three o'clock four o'clock in the afternoon so you know I'm not negating the animal is only going to come out at night it does come out at daytime but very rarely all right so we're going to go we're going to leave this animal alone we're going to go ahead um, do our little walk Luke and I and yeah there we have it so I'll see you on the next video if anything changes okay so until then you take care and I'll upload my next video so that you can see what I have seen for the past three nights. Here we go. Bye. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. And in the far distance, those of the remaining seven sheep. <laughs> and the guard llamas. But as you can see, the guard llamas have no... They cannot test a puma. So, they're not doing what they should do, in my case. But more on that. All right, until then, I'll see you guys later on and I'll report back as far as how this process goes. Um, I will be taking aim from my one of my bedroom windows, the one on the very, very top. The one right there. And that's where I'll be. Sorry about the shaky camera. <laughs> uh, and that's where I'll be. I have been basically all day today. <sighs> all right. We'll report back. Okay, guys. Hope you can see me okay. All right, so. Uh, I brought you into another room because the other rooms were just too, um, like I said, I'm rebuilding this hall slowly. So the other room is just a little bit too cluttered. But besides that, um, yeah, so that's the second kill the cougar has made in six months. Uh, one of my sheep again, so I really have to take care of this problem. So I'm going to go upstairs and I'm going to show you exactly um, where I will be staging myself um, and showing you some pieces of the video that the uh, camera one took, the still cam, the field cam took. Apparently it's bold enough to come out in the afternoon. So uh, I used to have a very brilliant spotlight design. I purchased it for this farm. Uh, but of course, it failed at the last minute, uh, two months ago, so I have to buy a new one. Until then, I cannot see anything at night time. So, I'm hoping to see the cougar during the course of the day, evening, morning time, um, and then we will go from there, if I'm up and ready. Uh, but, yeah, so the animals are all on edge. Uh, there is a piece of the carcass that you saw, I hate to say that term, it's the truth, up on the hill, I tied it off to the, to the uh, tree, and it's still there, it looks like, I'm going to go up there later on this afternoon and take a look at it and see how things look, but, um, but that's, that's it, so we just basically sit and wait. He took a large portion, I would say half the carcass with him, two nights ago. And he's still munching on that. So, we'll see what this carcass looks like to see maybe it took place last night. Uh, like I said, camera one is staged. If anything, it caught it during the course of the evening hours. 
uh, and I'll show you that if I have any video of that uh, for those of you who want, who want to see it, I know, but um, alright, so let's go ahead and I'll show you where I'll be staging. Alright, see you over there. Hi gang, yeah, here it is, this is the room. So this room is an upper room, uh, one of my upper rooms of the home that I don't use, but it has a beautiful, beautiful small window that looks out into the open field. Uh, this field, this field of view captures two thirds of my pasture, which pretty much is their activity. You can't see past the tree line. The tree line, there's another 11 acres behind the tree line that you, you cannot see from here. But pretty much the sheep play out in, in the main pasture area. And, um, and this is where all the action is. Uh, I showed you uh, on the other camera, uh, the camera one, uh, for those of you who didn't see it, look up here. I'll try to do this. I don't know how to do this yet, but look up here in this area. And I'll, which will, I'll link you to camera one. You can see where the cougar was pulling at the carcass. Well, that tree where the meat is hanging from, it's not hanging, it's actually tied to, because uh, I didn't want the cougar to take the carcass and hide it again. So I staged it there, hoping that I would be at the right place at the right time to take a clear shot at the cougar um, and ending it. So, the carcass is still there, half of it is gone. The cougar did not show himself last night, yesterday, actually yesterday. Uh, and hopefully, today I get to see him. Um, because he, she, I'm not sure yet. I think it's a female, I'm not sure yet, but he's not brazen enough to come out during the course of the day, I thought. But according to the video you saw, he was outside, broad daylight, feeding, and that's that's bold. I mean, our neighbors know that the, these cougars up here are bold because there's no predators for them, and uh, now there's an, there's an outburst of them. And working with the State Department, Department of Natural Resources, we're not finding any leeway. They're not, you know, they're not. They're saying, well, it's. You know, it's at, we've dealt with them. So now it's up to us now to take care of this problem. Um, and being on my field, I can do whatever the heck I want to do within humane rights. So hence, after the second kill, which happened a few days ago, this is what I'm led to. So, you know, um, Anyway, if it keeps up, I will have no more sheep left. So something has to happen, and I choose this. Um, so let's get to it, shall we? Let me show you the field of view. Okay, so this is the windows, the field of view. Um, This is how everything would look with the window closed and to the far upper right you can see the tree and the tree is right over here. And that's going to be the, the main area of focus. So let's open up the window and see how things look. I'll be quiet as well. So... I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. And that's the tree. Right there.
So that's going to be the main area of focus uh, throughout my time until this animal is um, is caught. So I know it's so sad. It's why you know why why must this be why so. But if it if nothing is ha is if nothing is done, then nothing is had. You, in other words, you, I've accomplished nothing, and so what will ha continue will continue, and which means all my animals <laughs> will be slowly eradicated. So this is my view, and here, here's where I'll be.